At the moment, I'm faced with terminating a piece of coaxial cable with the Rosenberger N-type connector. You don't need to solder it, you can fit it out in the field quite easily. First of all, you ensure that the end of the coaxial cable is cut straight. It must not be cut at an angle, it must be cut straight as possible. Okay. The next thing we have to do is to strip the outer insulation to receive the connector. Now these instructions and these dimensions are given in the piece of paper that comes with the connector. They are supplied with full instructions. The instructions are actually at one to one scale which means that you can confirm the measurements However, you can in fact use the drawing as a template when it comes to preparing the end of the cable. So I shall take my knife and, and remove the insulation. Now we have to assemble the component pieces of the connector. The first one, of course, is the nut at the back of the connector. You put that one on first. Then you push on this little ring. Be careful not to splay out the strands from the braid. Simple as that. Next we fit this over the connector, like that, push it all the way so that the braid sticks out here. The next thing to do is to fold the braid back over this little ferrule. Finally, we cut off the dielectric from the centre conductor. Check that there are no strands of the braid over the centre conductor and also trim the centre conductor so that the end of it will fit easily into the connector. So use a knife to deburr the edges. Okay. So I've filed a little chamfer onto there. We can now assemble the connector. Push it over it, insert the nut at the back, and tighten it up. Now, when you tighten it up, 14 mm spanner to hold the connector in position, and you rotate the nut, not the connector. is fitted.